Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. Well, we're back from camp now, back from Bad Kids Camp. And overall, I think okay. Barbie found it pretty therapeutic. We managed to let bygones be bygones. I think we might be finally ready to forgive Ken. We did a little bit of soul searching, didn't we, Barbie? We found the answers we needed by reaching out to the spirit world. And I couldn't be happier. I'm glad that we're finally ready to forgive Ken. So, it's Saturday, it's the weekend. I think we should meet up with Ken for some food and just, you know, discuss our relationship, let him know we forgive him for being a little slag. Barbie's even got a little surprise. She's uh, bought him a present, but I won't ruin that. I'll let you guys see what it is when we give it to Ken. But I think for now, it's still the morning. We should probably go pamper ourselves a little bit. Seeing as, you know, we haven't seen Ken for a little while, I think we should head to the salon, maybe get a little makeover in preparation for our date. I'm not sure whether we we're going to do a lunch date or a dinner date. I guess it depends how long we spend at the salon. But I'm thinking we should probably get our hair and our makeup done, go all out. Maybe we'll plan a nice little date outfit as well. Okay, here we are at the salon. I'm hoping it works okay. This is actually the salon I used for the... I think it was an active hairdressing mod. This right here is the salon I used, uh, in case you want to use it for yourselves, on the gallery. I mean, I have noticed so far that no one seems to be working here, which isn't great. Perhaps we should have a girls club member. Perhaps we should have a little girls gathering or something. This lot I've only ever used once, and I previously used it for an active hairdressing career, so I actually think I'm using it as a retail lot, but it's it's supposed to have a salon lot trait if you use it with the mod, but I was just being lazy and I didn't do that, so I'm hoping that I can still get my makeover here, though. Ready for your makeover, Barb? Okay, we kind of had to improvise a little bit. I had to go into Build and Buy and add the all-in-one styling station and our little wardrobe outfit planner thing but you know what i don't even regret coming here i regret nothing it's always nice to go to the salon for a makeover than just doing it at home so ask for makeup christy always has really good makeup so we'll get christy to do our makeup and then maybe teresa can do the hair what's that marge what's up barbie one of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you can i give them your number yeah sure maybe this is mum trying to fix us up on another hot date I'd like to think Barbie's parents probably uh, don't think much of Ken. No one's good enough. Hey, I heard you and Duncan Goodman are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Oh, thanks for that, Skipper. Glad to know you look up to me. Yeah. All right, Christy. Make me beautiful. I hope she still sticks with the pink lip. I'm going to base our outfit. Whatever outfit we plan for this meal, it's going to be based off of our makeup and our hair. So if she goes red, we go red. If she goes blue, we go blue. So right now it looks like, well, she's gone for a smoky eye and pale lip. And now she's giving me a shoulder massage. Okay, I guess Christy probably knows what she's doing. Um, Teresa, you want to come do my hair? Let's just get a better look. Oh, better look at that face. It's kind of frosty, isn't it? Like midnight makeup <laughs> kind of thing. It's a bit heavy for like a, a lunch date, but I mean, the way the restaurants work in this place, we could be sitting down now and we won't eat until 10 p.m. So I suppose it probably is a little bit more of, a little bit more efficient to go for your evening look now. But yeah, I like that. That's nice makeup you got there, Barbie. I, I don't know what kind of color dress would go with it, though. Could probably still wear red or maybe like a, a beige. Oh, that is beautiful. So elegant, so classy. I don't think she's done there, though. I think I think she's still going. I don't, I'm not sure Teresa's settling on this one. We, we need to dazzle, Teresa. So make it look good. Otherwise, I'm going to shag your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm joking. But I will, though. So, you know, don't fuck it up. Ah, oh, Margaret again. Oh. Christ alive. Oh, Barbie, I had a very strange dream about you last night. We were at a party and you kept ignoring me. I went up to you and tried waving in your face, but it was like you couldn't even see me. Was I invisible? Why didn't you see me? Just be snarky. Oh, I like that hair on Barbie, actually. I like the pink. I don't know if Teresa's that big of a fan. I think she's going to change it now. I really liked it. Well, that was a fucking pointless exercise, wasn't it? Because she's given me the same hair I started with. I swear that always happens when you get someone to do your hair for you. We're going to do a little bit of gossip with Mid. She's feeling a bit tense. Maybe we can de-stress her. Just chat shit about Teresa. Oh, ask for outfit. Um, Let's ask for a everyday outfit from Midge. Midge hasn't been involved in the makeover section. 
I th- see this is something new yeah. I've learned. I didn't even know you could ask someone to style you other than when you're at like the get famous acting place. I thought this just acted as a wardrobe. I didn't think people could actually like be a stylist for you. Oh, well, Midge, let's see what you come up with for our smoking hot date. Just don't put me in anything you would wear and then I think we'll be fine, Midge. I want to look like um a saucy sought after delicacy for Ken to enjoy. I don't want the look you go for, that, you know, Christian on a mission look. Eh? What an adorable little interaction. Fucking hell, Midge, come on. Pull your finger out. Are you out to sabotage here? Come on. This this will not do. (laughs) I'm wearing an apron that says Bear Grylls. And I don't even think it's a bear on the apron. What the fuck is that? Okay, it is a bear. From a distance, it looked like a raccoon. Fucking Midge has royally, like, done us in here. Is she trying to, like, make me celibate or something? Right, that's the last time. That is the last time we asked Midge. Get Christy in on this. I might have to go through all three of them and see what they come up with. I can't believe she put me in this. I look like a fucking clown. Right, that's it. Midge is in my bad books from now on. At least it's this apron, because I have another apron in my custom content that just says, eat my meat. So, you know... I suppose it could be worse. She could have put us in that, but still. Oh, Christy, honestly, please, please do me better than this. Midge has made a fucking mess here. I'm going to need you to pick up a mop and clean it up. Okay, what has Christy come up? Okay, okay, I mean, it's uh, it's, it's better, I guess. Um, Again, it kind of looks like I'm wearing an apron, though. I feel like I'm a maid in, like... The Middle Ages, or, well, probably wouldn't be showing that much leg, but you you get my drift. I I don't think either, I don't think any of you really get me. Okay, (laughs) now I see why I don't use this so often. Oh, I'm invited to a party before prom. Oh, shit, it's prom again. I'm not going to prom. I got a hot date with Ken. I just can't, I can't risk it again. Not after the shit show that was the last prom. There'll be another one, and next time we go to prom, we'll become prom queen. Okay, right, this is my last attempt. This is my very... This time we're going to go for a party outfit. We're going to ask Teresa... Right, bitches, this is your last fucking chance to try and make me look good. If you manage to fuck this up, then I'm just going to go home and find something in my closet because you guys just can't be trusted and you're not real friends. Because I refuse to believe that you've dressed me in this genuinely thinking I look good. Alright, this is clearly you getting back at me for some something we did in the past. I don't know whether we bullied or whether we said something. This is not an act of friendship, guys. What? <laughs> so th- This is what... This is what Teresa's come up with. This is Teresa's idea for my hot date with Ken. Yeah? Waste of time, you fucking bitches. And also, I think I have lost my makeup now. If I change back into the outfit I was wearing originally, it's I, I'm going to have lost my makeup, aren't I? Yeah. So that was a waste of time too. The time is getting on. It's four o'clock. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm just going to go into Creator Sim. Oh no. I just realised I forgot to reinstall my loading screen and my wardrobe room. I literally uninstall it after filming every Barbie video and reinstall it before each one and I forgot this week. Don't worry guys, it'll be back. It'll be back next week. Okay, I'm just gonna have to like redesign my um, my prom dress. I have to do my own hair, do my own makeup, pick my own outfit. Can't believe this shit. Some friends they are. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Classy, date ready, we've got our hair up in a messy bun, hoop earrings, perfect. Well, now that we're looking fabulous, I think it's probably time we go and meet Ken for our hot date. Come on, Barbie. Let's go. We'll leave the girls at the salon and we'll take Ken with us. Oh, looks like our little love relationship has taken a bit of a battering. So I think um, for lunch slash dinner, we'll probably go to the local restaurant in our our neighbourhood, Brindleton Bay. Oh, Ken Ken, you made it. Okay, Bobby, I think before we go in, let's go and seduce... Oh, he's already walking away. I told you to seduce Ken. He's in a dazed state, which is kind of our favourite state for Ken. And now we'll give him his present. We got him a little gift. Hopefully he likes it. We got it custom made just for you, Ken. You like it? That's right. We got you a t-shirt. Why don't you try it on right now? Oh, there you go. It fits you perfectly. And I think it'll also serve as a gentle reminder to you to try and remain a loyal boyfriend. Now, when you look down at your heart, 
You'll see my face. Oh, this is nice. Okay, let's go and request a table. We'll have a lovely meal together. And maybe at the end of this... Oh, there's a boy calling. I'll, uh, I'll ignore it. We get quite a few phone calls from boys, but we just... Not while we're around Ken. Yeah, we'll have a nice meal together. And then I'm thinking maybe if this dinner date goes well, then we might just seal the deal and exchange promise rings. Is that yeah, Ky Kyle? Yeah, Kyle Carlson. Oh, you got yourself a job, Kyle. Good for you, man. I can see oh, Kyle yeah. Carlson being like a temporary boyfriend when we become a young adult and hit some stumbling blocks in life and make our way to rock bottom. Probably then we'll have a, a quick dating, quick dating blip with Kyle. Here's your table. So I guess we're sitting outside, eh? Oh, how romantic. Okay, we'll order for the table. We usually yeah, like to take sleepy. the lead when we're in groups of people. What should we get? Um, I think maybe some sour punch for the pair of us. Get a little bit of drink flowing. Now what's like a, what's a sexy dinner option? I mean, steak is, is kind of fancy, isn't it? And there aren't many other dinner options, so we'll both go for the steak. There we go. Gus on. Come and serve me. Oh, Ken, you look so good in that t-shirt. Yeah, two cocktails, the spicy cocktails, and two steaks, please. Thank you, servant. That will be all. Oh, Ken, it's just nice to spend time together after all this time. How long has it been? What, four episodes now since we've last seen each other? Oh, Midge is asking me to the romance festival. Ah, oh. um, we could recite some poetry, couldn't we? Oh, yeah, I wrote these all myself. While I was crying in my bunk bed at camp, thinking about how you did me wrong. And I was so well behaved the whole time. We might even catch the sunset, Ken. Have you been getting any sleep, Ken? You look rough. You look like you've got some real dark circles under your eyes. Losing sleep over me, were you? Oh, someone didn't like a dose of the truth. Where did he go? Oh, he's probably just gone to the bathroom, actually, thinking about it. What the fuck is Labia doing now, White? <laughs> just trying to enjoy a nice meal. There's food on the floor. Oh, Barbie still feels a quiet fury beneath the surface from grudges not yet forgotten. Oh, is that from, is that from Ken? I bet it is. Oh, they're just resentful about no prom invite. So we don't care that he's a lying, cheating sack of shit then. Oh, okay, fine. I guess we're more pissed about not being invited to the prom. Oh no, what's wrong? Does it not look good? It looks fine. Is there meant to be the letter T written on it? I said, maybe it's just because it's normal quality, uh -huh. not good quality. Ken, where do you think you're going? Sit the fuck back down. Sit the fuck back down. You're supposed to be making it up to me. Don't go play in these love games. Sit down and eat your steak. Why are you writing in a notebook? Oh, this game is a mess. Just eat your steak. Hurry up and eat, guys. The sooner you eat, the sooner we can promise ourselves to each other. I guess Ken doesn't have an appetite. Which would be fine if I could get him to pay the bill, but it's always the active household picking up the check, so you're actually really disrespecting me now, Ken. Let's exchange those promise rings. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad we've forgiven Ken for kissing Mindy, even though it really wasn't his fault. Not only do I feel like we're stronger than ever, but I also feel like because we forgave him, like, we could just use this card now anytime we want him to do something for us. Okay, well, you guys are promised to each other. Should say in your sim profiles, promised, yeah. Okay, well, I have a plan about where we should go to finally just kiss and make up. I think we should go back to the fairground and end our evening in one of our favourite ways to end our evenings. Shagging on the Ferris wheel. Alright, let's go make up in the spooky, scary monster house. I'm pretty sure we've already woohooed in the uh, Ferris wheel and the Tunnel of Love. We have not woohooed in the haunted house yet, though. Uh, Ken? Uh, are you forgetting something there, buddy? You seem to have forgotten your t-shirt. Don't worry, I brought a spare. Plenty of those. Got plenty of those t-shirts there, mate. Make sure that you never forget to wear your new favourite t-shirt. Just in case you accidentally lose any more of them. Don't worry, we've got an endless supply. We'll make sure that you are never without your Barbie face love heart t-shirt. Ah, oh, I love you, Ken. What a beautiful sight. Also, I've just noticed that the love hearts go around. They go around the ride, like, so you can kind of see where they are. Oh, did you guys have a good time? Well, Barbie, I think that is probably the best Saturday we could hope for. What a great day. For now, though, I think it's probably time we head home. Okay, Barbie, we're home. Why don't you go and get some sleep after you finish taking a selfie of yourself? Of course, of course. Go to bed and then we'll do something fun in the morning. 
Well, it's a new day, Sunday morning, and I thought we would start the day by, I suppose you could call it an experiment. I thought perhaps we could go visit our teacher's grave today. And usually, you know, when you visit graves, you bring flowers, don't you? So I thought what we could try is we could maybe pop by the flower stand. Now, I haven't been to the flower stand for a very long time, but I'm pretty sure it's over here. I want to see if I can buy a bouquet and put it on a grave. I have a feeling that you can't, because I think bouquets can only be held in your hand. So this might not work, but I guess this is kind of part of the experiment, you know, finding out whether we can buy a bouquet for someone's grave. Oh, it's a gloomy day in Tartosa, isn't it? Probably just because it's so early. Right, where's the flower stand? I'm guessing it's not going to be open, but is this the flowers? Looks pretty flowery to me. Okay, they open at 9am. Okay, that's fine, whatever. We'll just come over here and do some fucking handstands or something. Practice cheer. So you can walk all the way over here, but there's fuck all to do. I've only just noticed that. They could have at least, like bare minimum, put a fishing spot here. Literally, what is the point in this piece of land right here? We'll just sit by this pretty fountain. I wish there was an option to make a wish. Okay, flower stand is open. Right, um, buy flowers. We'll pick something pretty for our teacher. She's done a lot for us in death. She gave us that excellent advice to go and shag that random guy from bad kids camp. Okay, this is what I worried. This is just individual flowers. So I'm going to have to specifically select buy wedding bouquet. Oh, I'm already getting the impression this is not going to work. But uh, let's get... Mm, I was going to say black, but I sort of feel like maybe we should go for something a bit more cheerful. Like this, maybe? Pastel garden flowers? Oh, colourful! Let's get... We'll get two. We'll get two. Okay, beautiful. So they should be in my inventory. Alright, let's go visit the gravesite. See if we can leave some flowers there. If we can't, then fine. You know, the thought was there. And that's good enough for me. Right, now where's that bitch's grave? I can't remember which one. Oh, here she is, here she is. Okay, there's Rita. Come and mourn, Rita. I wonder who our new teacher will be. Maybe it'll be someone with a bit more sass. <gasps> I can place flowers at her grave. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, I really didn't think I'd be able to, you know. Okay, let's look at both bouquets. Which one do I think... You know, I actually think this one, the one with these flowers, looks a bit better by the grave. So we'll just keep this one for ourselves. Maybe we'll give those flowers as a gift to someone. I'm so happy that worked and that we were able to do that. Okay, so, question answered. Yes, you can leave flowers at a Sim's grave. One of the very few things that my wedding stories actually comes in handy for. Okay, well, cool. As soon as you uh, finish mourning Rita, then I think probably we should head to the mall. I want to try and work on our presents as a fashionista. So we're going to go and create a couple outfits. Maybe like three outfits. Oh, we just got paid for don't do drugs. Maybe like three outfits or something. We'll list them on Trendy. This series is only going to be ten episodes long. We're already in episode seven. By the time the series ends, Barbie's going to be at the point where she's getting ready to graduate and start college. So we need to have a bit of money in the bank because our parents, you know, they're so resentful of every penny they give, they've given us. And, I, and they've recently found their credit card statement and seen how much money of theirs we've spent. Oh, Midge is calling. You've got pretty good taste. Will you come to the flea market? No, Midge, we're going shopping. Yeah, so I have a feeling our parents are going to be real assholes about giving us money. We'll take the girls with us. So if I get Barbie listing a few different outfits on Trendy, that will hopefully increase the likelihood of us being able to save up a bit of money, you know, for college. Spending money. Party money. Okay, Girls Club Gathering has officially started. Okay, now where was that clothes store where we could create our own looks? Here's a clothes store right here. Oh, and here's the other one. Okay, let's, um, we didn't really get much luck down here, so let's try the one in this store. You know what? I wonder if you get different options in, like, even though this is one, one lot, technically, I wonder if the options I get from this clothes rack will differ from the options I get from the upstairs clothes rack. I doubt it. All right, come on, Barbs. Let's go create some looks and invest in our future so we can afford those kegs when we go to college. Oh, it just doesn't feel the same without my loading screen and my background dressing room in Creator Sim. I'm so sad that I forgot to do that. Is it even a Barbie video at all? Because it doesn't feel like one without my background. 
Okay, let's do three outfits. Um, I'm just going to set... Uh, I'm going to set the colour to pink for everything. Is that it? Okay, well, I guess we'll change that then. For some reason, it doesn't include all the different swatches. Well, this is a bit out there, isn't it? I actually think this is a really cute outfit. I'd love to see my Sims out and about wearing something like that. Okay, there's outfit one. No trend. Okay, great start. Okay, I think this is probably outfit two. This is more like disco dance, raver, something you could probably wear at Pride. Yeah, this is my, this is my party girl look. What would I class this as? Neon raver, I think that's probably a good description. We at least have a style for this one, boho. All right, let's do our third and final outfit now. Who the fuck would wear that? Gross. I kind of want to use these, because like, I feel like they're sort of something that Barbie would have worn. Like, I'm sure there is like a Barbie somewhere that wears shorts like this for like an 80s workout video or something. I'm sure there is. There we go. 80s fitness workout Barbie. She looks great. And we will say that this is... Mm, can't really categorize it. Let's go for groove wear. Okay, we've got our outfits. Oh, you got changed back into your camper outfit. Why? Oh, there we go, something a little bit more shopping mall appropriate. I wonder if the bubble tea server I just hired will ever show up. Probably not, because we've been sat here for about an hour. Oh, is that, is that the vendor? Is that the vendor? I mean, it says he's an employee, but he isn't um, doing any work. Well, you know what? I'm actually thinking for the next episode, Barbie, she actually has a bit of a crazy week ahead next week. Come Monday, she's actually doing work experience. So maybe tending the bubble tea store isn't the end, the bubble tea stand isn't the end of the world. It might get you a bit of experience, Barbie, in preparation for next week. Why can't I actually make any bubble tea, though? So she can either hire a vendor or tend the stand, but she cannot make herself bubble tea. That is some bullshit. Oh. Oh, the girls are having an unpleasant conversation, apparently. Barbie, I kind of feel like as leader of the group, you should maybe try and take control of this conversation and turn it into a pleasant one. If there are any insults to be thrown around this gang, it should be coming from us. Oh, Midge and Christy, lovers tiff, perhaps? All right, you know what? I'm not actually happy that these guys are having an unpleasant conversation. I think we need to lift their spirits a little bit. And seeing as this mall is getting pretty dead and we're not going to be served any bubble tea, let's go do a bit of karaoke. Planet Honey Pop, let's go. Finally, a bar. I'm parched. Order drinks for the group. We'll get some ridge ports. Served by an alien with pink hair. We don't have the best um, learned behaviors. We're on the more argumentative side, irresponsible and uncontrolled emotions. But my God, do we have good manners. Oh, she still has the fear of being cheated on. Hey, where's my ridge ports? Okay, let's do a little bit of karaoke. Who should we sing with? Maybe Christy? That bitch better not be going to that karaoke station. Turn around and walk back the way you came, cowgirl. Oh, can I boo her? Yeah, that's right, walk away. Boo. Okay, here we go, Christy. By the time we get done, there isn't gonna be a dry eye in this place. They're both as terrible as each other. <laughs> You guys are smashing it. You really are. You're smashing it. Got Taylor Swift in the making there, Barbs. Ah. And on that note, I think I'm going to leave Barbie to enjoy the rest of her weekend before I force her to do hard labour for work experience on Monday in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.